So we got thinking about quitting YouTube. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. I keep gaining weight and grocery haul. Vlog. Okay. And then we got my mukbang era is back. Food fixations and I'm losing my mind. Okay, interesting, interesting. Thinking of quitting YouTube and then mukbang. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's kind of spoilers if you haven't uh, caught up already, I guess, right? <laughs> guess she didn't quit. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Thinking about quitting YouTube, I keep gaining weight and grocery haul vlog. Hello, guys, it's another day. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, go on vlog i don't know how i'm doing this i don't know how i'm holding on i didn't even want to get out of bed today oh uh because I you got fucking am... nothing else going on I'm depressed so i don't even like vocalizing that out loud so we're just gonna kind of move past that but just know oh, that okay. that is the era we are in currently depression era i don't know if you guys hear that but my upstairs neighbors are I don't know, making a lot of noise. But that's fine. I'm actually about to go weigh myself. I, I have know, not weighed myself the carpets in a very, or something. very long time. For me, it's a long time. Probably like almost two weeks. I don't know. This... Something around. You can't just leave this in like this. You can't. You can't just vlog over this. You're gonna have to go. You're gonna have to go outside to vlog because I can't watch this video. <laughs> hey, Charlie Awkward, how's it going? Upstairs neighbors learning HVAC. Someone's gotta. Someone's gotta. Am I right? We're on those lines and that's like a long time for me. So I'm gonna weigh myself and I'm actually joining Lose It. My they're friend getting, has inspired me. I think they're getting forklift certified. And Lose It? Your know. friend? Which, what kind of friend is this? Like, you know what you need, Amberlynn? A fucking new app. Oh, she has lost so weight. much weight and it's just like super inspirational what she kind of friend has been giving me advice if, if it was if you had a friend they'd be like hey how about you email the weight loss facility back and say hey put me back on <laughs> no try out this new app <laughs> try out this app and we joked around hey, about her being my dietitian waifu. and it was just, that's like, a good a name moment. but i just really need to like get back oh, on track oh, okay it's the over. noise has stopped because I, it's just like i, I have it. just been eating my feelings and like i'll have a really good day and then the next day i'll have like, oh. a really bad day with my eating the noise has started again i just don't know if you guys can hear it or not so who knows but yeah it's just like my life what? it's just like uh, back what, and what forth. could they be doing what do they got? Hardwood floors? They're having sanded or something? Worth, and I'm finding that I have so many different triggers. Like literally, some that is such a weird fucking thing to be doing on like a Wednesday, in the middle of the day. <laughs> like it, I, I would almost say like it would be better on a weekend, <laughs> or like in the a late afternoon, right? Someone said the word fry. Well, I guess it could be in late their video, afternoon. And it made me want to order Shake Shack fries, and I'm just like, oh my god, I need to like. Slow my like room. like so. a couple of years ago would have made sense like oh let's do this really loud annoying thing in the middle of the day while everyone's at work but now everyone's at work and <laughs> in their house and you're doing the loud annoying thing i am gonna go weigh myself and that's gotta be like I'm fucking shaking the glasses in the cupboard I right insanely swollen like i don't think i've been this swollen in years so i've also been doing a lot more walking and i'm not just blaming it on the walking i just want to say like yeah I've been eating like That's crap. the type of thing where like if you like were walking and your neighbor's like, Hey, sorry about that noise, I was getting something done, you'd be like, Oh yeah, that was really annoying actually. So that is why I'm not swollen. Like, oh it's fine. But That's I will all right. say that like, yeah, that was pretty rough. I eat, like, that was, like I didn't this, like I that. Also I'm not like <laughs> trying to move more. So it's like my body is like confused because it's like, okay, you're eating like crap, but you're moving your body more. So my lipedema and my lipedema is just like super swollen. So it's like, damn. Okay, I just weighed myself. Um, I took off all my clothes, put them back on, obviously. I am a little bit shocked. Oh my God, she's really trying to hit the word count with these videos now or something. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Just weighed myself, so I took off all of my clothes, and then I put all of them back on, obviously. Uh, hey! Hey, little squeaker. Let's chill out, alright? 
What are, um, what are the neighbors wow. learning HVAC? I just feel super pathetic. Oh, boy. Pathetic. Yeah, that's the word for it. So I'm signing up for Lose It Now. Um, and they're asking like a bunch of questions. This one is, why did you decide to get started with Lose It today? If there's one thing Amberlynn loves, it's getting asked a bunch of questions. And it's like multiple choice. I guess I'm going to click the one. Um, okay. And they're asking like a bunch of questions. This one is, why did you decide to get started with Lose It today? And it's like multiple choice. I guess I'm going to click the one that says I'm unhappy with my weight. How important is it for you to lose weight right now? It's my top priority. How do you feel about being here? The options are excited, hopeful, hesitant, frustrated. I'm not sure. I'm going to click frustrated because I'm so this. mad at myself. So what is your current weight? You can't, you can't just read this shit off the screen. I, don't, I can't follow things that way. Oh my God. Wow. So you scroll like all the weights. See that? Like how you scroll and stuff. When you're my size, you have to scroll for a hot minute. Oh my God. It's so hard being Amberlynn. What about when you have to put in your, your, uh, your birthday and you're really fucking old? You ever so think about that? I in today at 537.0. Yeah, I'm really. What if, what if you have to input where you live and you live in Zimbabwe? Hey, hey, puppy dog. Someone getting forklift certified? Not the howl with throwing her head back. The growl. Oh my god, the nasty growl too, and throwing her head back to howl. Now we get to hang out. Now we get to hang out. All right. Is that good? That sound fun? Okay. It's sad about that. Um. So now I have to pick a goal weight. You guys already know. 199. So you guys remember when I wanted to lose the, the 56 pounds before I moved? I never explained why I chose that amount. It's because I wanted to reach 468 and 468 or like around there was the lowest I got while I was on Ozempic. And I wanted to get back to that point. And it's like now before I okay. move, I'm gonna have to like create a whole new goal or just like not even have a goal. I don't even know. Like I just feel so defeated right now. Wow. To reach my all-time goal, I have to lose 338 pounds. Oh my god. This heartbreak era situation type deal How is not doing news? me any good. No, it's not. I need to like really snap out of it, figure it out, because this ain't it. This ain't it. I, I, I cannot let this be the end of me. Hello, hello. We have a grocery haul. We do. We have tons of groceries. Speaking so, of. I'm going to show you the stuff that I got for myself. Speaking of the end, I just finished Mega Man Zero Four, which is the last one in that series. And oh my god, what a great series of games. Got to be the best Mega Man series, Mega Man Zero. Oh my god, loved it. I just dropped a jar of salsa that's fun i think it's okay though oh <laughs> so i got a jar too. of How salsa about that? i got some of these like think protein bars they're 150 think? calories oh, good, protein. good new journey new protein bars great great this that's the mark of a of a new journey is some fucking random ass protein bar I mean, it's salted caramel This'll do Here it. Are. Give that a try. This is, this is gonna be different mustard. from all the other ones. I needed some more um, sponges for the dishes, so I got some of those. I oh, is, oh, is that what the sponges are for? Light mayo, because I want to make some tuna salad. I got these sponges because I needed more, and they're for the dishes. I got some Dawn dish soap. I got a What's bag. The, I'm sorry, what is the Dawn dish soap for? Of... Fuji apples, Fuji? which I will be putting in the fridge because they last longer and taste better that way. I got two bags of this sweet kale like salad kit. Uh -huh. Literally delicious. I got two white onions. I got a thing of celery and carrots that are already cut up. Oh, perfect for the cottage cheese and mustard. And little uh, stick variety. I got a bag of the buffalo wings veggie vegetizer, morning star, veggie nugget type deal. I love these so much. I also got this plant-based Dr. Prager's, which I've had the um, breathing right black now, bean one, I but they didn't oxygen. have it. So I decided to try the Fiesta Burger. 
So got those as well. I would just get a burger and I've been obsessed it. with but turkey kielbasa. Cool. So I got two more of those. I also got Dr. <laughs> Oh, and there it goes. Wants me to keep watching the volcanic eruption in Iceland. <laughs> Dr. Pragers? Pragers? Some of the tuna packs. Love me a tuna moment. <laughs> I'm got sorry, what's in the tuna pack? Carb balanced tortillas. I got a thing of eggs because I want to start having oh eggs. Oh my god, again. they almost it's fell been, out of there. It's been a minute, I'll tell you. So I love the loaded cauliflower um, little bite thingies that I tried, but they didn't have the kind. That I tried, so I had to get a different kind. Oh, this one is no. the Southwest style. Oh. I got two bags. I am oh, hoping for the best. Oh, life is cruel. Because you never know. Uh, I got some I'm Mexican. I'm actually really nervous to try the Southwest cheesy cauliflower bites. And shredded cheese. <laughs> I got a thing of wild caught pink salmon. These are fillets, some skinless fucking and fucking what? Love me a salmon. Last but not wild least, caught. I just got these like little cups of cottage cheese just individual packs because they didn't have like the daisy kind that i usually get cheese. so that is everything and i'm gonna put it all away hello okay <laughs> naturally naturally you're gonna put it away so i've also decided to obviously do some intermittent fasting with my In cal intermittent calories because when i do that it just helps me not think about food for a large majority of the day and that's some, like some nice some winter me. green I like that feeling of knowing like girl you don't get to eat like this is your fasting hours so far i'm doing really good um <laughs> out of my 1800 <laughs> calories <laughs> i've had fasting. 792 and i still have about six more hours that i'm able to eat it's like beyond easy for me to even oh, eat oh this will work oh this will work out of everything else 1800 calories in one sitting a lot of people don't realize that they do that like calories are sneaky little fellas i'm not gonna lie i think i'm just like at that point where i'm just like i have to do this like in the same way that i have to breathe i have to wake out. up and shower i have to out. take twinkie outside i have to feed my animals i have to take care of them i have to do my job i have to do youtube i have to be an adult i have to do adult oh things oh my god it's so hard being amberlynn like i need to think of the struggles the struggles being me my weight loss in the same way something that i like have to do <laughs> life is so fucking hard when i have to take care of my pets and work it's not like a choice and for so long it's just like <laughs> my mental illness and whatever it may be it just made me feel like oh it was a choice and even though like i suppose yeah, learn it HVAC. wasn't i don't know i'm just like in a, welding in a spot in a spot learn folks. coding a spot of confusion i feel lost i just feel overwhelmed school. i feel so overwhelmed like forklift certification and i do want to say like i prefer taking delta your... eight over delta nine because delta nine is what gave me the commercial the driver's license missed. and then it was when i switched to the delta eight that is when oh, i don't okay remember. hold on let me hear this the El delta journey can you please, please be nice, puppy dog? Like at the munchies as much. So Delta <laughs> spot, folks. A spot of confusion. I feel lost. I just feel You're in overwhelmed. A spot? I feel so overwhelmed, like beyond belief. And I do want to say, like, I prefer taking Delta Eight over Delta Nine because Delta Nine is what gave me the, the munchies. Okay. Is what I noticed. And then it was when I switched to the Delta Eight. That is when I don't really get the munchies as much. So thank God. And then I actually ended up like Googling it and like looking it up. And like, that's actually very common for people. So okay. every time that I spoke about Delta 8, Self control I didn't also is a big help. I mean, Delta 8, there was a lot of times I was also taking like Delta 9. And Delta 9 is definitely more strong. Gave me the munchies hardcore. So I knew I had to stop taking that more because strong. the munchies like, it's not gonna help me in the long run. So I just need to like be proactive like if i want to take thc i have to be proactive and like responsible while doing it hey guys so i just dis naturally right some dishes and Any put away substance? some clothes and walk twinkie i've been trying my hardest oh my god life is so hard pack more it's just packing i don't know me packing memories like those things are just not good because like every object i own 
gives me a memory or makes me think of like one throw it out then one day when Flynn and I won't be living together oh just get rid of them just just get rid of everything then and that's just like hard for me but I was actually just like dead serious dead serious oh there's these things they're too hard to look at okay bye bye sitting here taking a break from all that and I was journaling <laughs> yeah I've been doing a lot of journaling it has helped so much even my therapist is like I'm proud of you so I'm like thank you oh my god in case anyone was was uh not sure or maybe confused i just want you to know that amber lynn's therapist is proud of her in case anyone was not aware amber lynn wants you to know that her therapist supports her <laughs> and said that she is the best patient ever and has had the most progress out of anyone ever um and is just doing truly amazing I was journaling more about just like my weight because today's weigh-in really got to me for sure. And it correlating with YouTube. Like I wanted to and really focus in and be like, is actually also in love with YouTube her? Is YouTube the reason why I am over 500 pounds? And I had to like go back, go down memory lane. Me and memories hate those, but I had to go back down memory Therapist lane. And I was like, Dr. Breger. what is the highest weight that I reached while having like an outside job? And that was actually about 480 pounds, 490 pounds. I was a PCA worker. I worked at a- My therapist blocked me? Assisted living facility. Oh, and I, I was pretty much almost 500 screen, pounds. So- Assisted I can't living? blame YouTube. I can't. No matter where I've been in life, whether it was working a nine to five or whether it was going to college or whether it was high school or no matter what job, no matter what walk of life I've had, I've always turned to food. Like, it doesn't matter. Because I was sitting here and I was wondering, I was like, should I get a different job? Like, should I stop YouTube as a job? I mean, I'll always do YouTube, but definitely won't upload as often if it's not a job. I think that goes for a lot of YouTubers out there. But personally, I would never stop uploading because yeah, I love yeah, if I if I <laughs> If this stopped being my main source of income, I probably... Connection between me <laughs> and my supporters so freaking much. Plus, I just love the act of filming. Like, I love filming. I love editing. Like, the whole act of it is just so fun to me. So I was like sitting here and I was like, should I go try to do something else? Like, build more routine. Just more of a routine. And I was like... That has nothing to do with the reason why I am the way I am. Because I was a PCA worker and then it's, I did data entry. It's like I was trauma. doing all these jobs and I was still massively gaining weight. And I had a bunch of friends. I had a social life like every day. And I was still just like... Gaining. Is it possible that you need to heal from past trauma? Wait, steadily. Instead like, of finding a routine. You can even see that. Like there's proof, especially like in the uh, Florida era when I lived in Florida. I was never ever home like i was always out i was either working oh imagine if you imagine if you became a therapist and got amber Lynn as a patient that would that would really that would really um, <laughs> um hanging with family hanging with friends i mean i have to deal with her every day i was always doing so. something and i was just gaining and gaining and gaining and at gaining. least it's not my job so to fix her, my though. weight has nothing to do with routine or am i busy or am i social none of those things it has nothing to do with that and has everything to do with like food follows me everywhere like me needing comfort comes from any situation any era of my life anything that i've been through it's always been food it's been the only freaking constant and i hate it so much because i was almost hoping <laughs> that it was youtube that made me this big <laughs> As crazy as that sounds, because it's like, that's oh easy God. to fix. That's something I could fix. It's, what's, is her conclusion, it's the food? The food is the problem? But the fact that it's not YouTube, all and a it's symptom, not something all I could a just symptom. be like, okay, let's take a break from that and move on to a different journey in my life. No, like, my weight has always been a problem. Always. I was 290 pounds when I was 11. I was 420. Let her cook. Let her cook. She's getting there. Hold on. Hold on. Let her cook. 20 pounds when She's I was almost there almost there 16 I was about 25 26 when I finally reached like 490 and that was when I was like working routine based all the time oh it's Becky's fault fucking Becky oh my god <gasps> you're right so it's just like through journaling I'm really trying to it's figure the oppression of Becky figure out like the next steps in my life because your girl is lost and I know I said that earlier today but I really am 
and I'm trying to find the right path for me because I'm I'm like on a fork in a road. It's like not a bump, like it's a fork and I have so many paths and ways and things to choose and work at the assistant living facility. That was fucking wild cuz like I um I saw like a clip recently of like one of the th <laughs> just like one of the times she was vlogging there when she was half working, half uh volunteering, half fucking just just being there while destiny works just for the sake of being next to destiny and not having anywhere else to go because she doesn't drive um and like they're, like whatever they're fucking sitting in that office fucking around or whatever and like destiny starts like windexing the window and everyone's like oh look at you look at you working hard and cleaning like yeah maintaining the facility like that like I don't know. It's just crazy, honestly. A lot of people ask, like, like wiped so you were foster on or something, care. Like, but... how did you get so big? Like, you didn't have money. Like, you grew up with poor parents. Like, yeah. It's definitely crazy because one of the reasons why I was taken from my parents is neglect. And that comes with all forms. Like, I remember when my mom came to visit me when I had cancer. And we talked so much about, like, the finances when I was, like, younger before I was put in foster care. And, like, I only had one pair of pants like oh my damn I, <laughs> that sounds awful I, if my mom came came at me and was just like let me tell you about how, sh how shitty it was trying to make it through the the early years there i'd be like hey, you know what Dad at least at least we're here now let's uh leave that there <laughs> spent money on getting high uh in whatever form Yo, that he wanted then buy his own kids How's like clothing and stuff and that also goes with like food and this and that but like when I finally did have food, or it was like a standard meal. She's so close. She's very, very close, though. Um, because she's, she's saying, like, it's not YouTube that's causing me all these problems. And she's like, eh, the food. And then she's getting like, oh, but I was, I was, but I was, I was still having this problem as a kid. Like, okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. It was really unhealthy and I would eat a tongue. lot and it is on I the would tip sneak of any tongue. sort of food that I could, especially once I like got into like group homes and foster homes and stuff. Like I would steal food. Like sometimes money has nothing to do with being bigger at all because all the foster homes I was ever in, group homes, She's like so that's not close. like a money she heavy so place. Close. Like it's always been very poor, like low income place. And that's how I grew up. That's like based on my experiences. And like another really good example, like I had like barely any money, like let's be real, when I reached almost 500 pounds. Like I wasn't really making that much money, like okay. maybe a couple thousand. Like money has nothing to do you were making a couple with thousand why I am the way dollars? I am. Like me having a lot of money here on YouTube isn't the reason why I am the way I am like no matter how much money I have food is my comfort regardless and that is proof my experience and my We're life so is proof close. of that We're I think so what I'm trying close. to ultimately say is like this is my fault that I have chosen food as a comfort and I've kept it as my comfort so now it's like formed into a massive addiction and I am blaming myself and nobody else but myself and that's kind of like free. And what are we going to do about just, like, it? Take what are we going to do? To do better and be better. Like what? And I don't want to blame the, outside the things like YouTube or money. Like that's crazy. Editing Lynn here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I forgot to end this vlog. My God, what's the suspense? In my next one for day that was, Bye. I really thought she was going. I really thought she was going to get there. Like, oh my God, maybe I really need to figure out this past trauma and and, and get a lot more help than I currently am. Uh, has anyone watched this already? Does she happen to hit up the P.O. box? Because what's today, Thursday? Doesn't she say she usually goes Wednesday to hit up the P.O. box? Has it arrived? I think so. I think so. Wipey's gone, she can't get to the P.O. box. Yeah, I'm gonna be really upset. I'm gonna be really upset uh, if she's like, guys, so I'm actually closing the P.O. box. It's just like too hard for me to get to right now. So like, I'm so sorry. What if Lena intercepted it? Then she's dead to me. Then she's fucking dead to me. I know she's- I know- I know Amberlynn said there's like a fucking Feline filter on the P.O. box. Like, she doesn't give Amberlynn things that will upset her. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Surely by like tomorrow, right?
I'm having so much fun with Pokemon Go. I've been playing Pokemon Sleep. And that's not a lot of fun, but it just gives me something to wake up and fuck around with, you know? The, oh, how did my... Oh, my God, I have to collect all my points from these sleeping Pokemon. Okay, Mukbang Era is back. Food fixations. And I'm losing my mind? Hello, hello. What's this fucking... What's this fucking pebbles? Ass top here. <laughs> this fucking... This is a fucking... Fucking Barney Rubble ass. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Hello, you guys. Welcome Ooh, to the vlog. <laughs> Oh my god, we're on day 14. Oh! I, know, I guess Wait, it's more like day Fred. Because day 15 is the third. <laughs> and no more daily person. uploads from yours truly. I. <laughs> you got a daily. Uh, I don't know how I did it. Daily so dose of vitamins in there. Because I. Like, this is like working really well for me. Is I am going <laughs> to like constantly have a new schedule. But it's only, it's going to be like in a timely manner. So I'm going to like let you guys know what it is, what to expect for this time frame. And then after that time frame, I'm going to switch it up and give you something else. Because I noticed that I get bored. That's like with every day of my life. I'm just a bored little individual. I get tired of things. I like a good switch it up type of moment. So yeah, I definitely think that. That is what I'm gonna be doing from this point forward. So as of right now, all y'all need to know is it's the daily uploading 15 days until August 3rd. Oh, so oh, 15 days? I thought it was 50 days. 15? Cool, that's work related, but now- That's two weeks, including the weekend between. <laughs> let's talk more like weight loss related. I kind of want to like set a goal where I want to count calories on lose it. For a certain amount of days, like even if I go over Use calories, the AI to put or in a even if it's a moment in time where surely, I, surely we couldn't do that. I don't normally count my calories, and it's a moment where I'm like, oh, I'll just like not worry about that. Like I really want to focus more on like the act of calorie counting because it's so overwhelming for me, and like I hate it, like low key. So I want to give myself like a little challenge you of like, hate okay, the calorie counting. No one for forced you to do days. that. So I think I'm just that was your rules. And probably do like ten days. She loves breaking her own rules that she makes up for no reason. That no, it's not going to be like a a vlogging journey. Like watch me count calories for ten days. No, um, sure, I'll give an update here and there. But this is more so just like personal, and I'm just like vocalizing it. Vocalizing. But today's actually August first. Me, like, me, me, I me, love me, a new me, month. me. Um, it's very bittersweet right now for me because normally a new month I'm like, yay, like I love that new goals, fresh start, blah blah blah. But I see it as oh. This is one of the last months that Fleen and I will be living together. Oh like, my god, I give it a rest. That. Like, my soul hates that. My aura hates that. My energy hates that. I hate that. Everything about me hates that. Like, every single part of me, like, mentally, emotionally, physically, like, this breakup has been the worst freaking breakup oh I've ever been through in the sense God. of, like, how much it has hurt me. Like, in the past with my breakups, like, obviously I am <laughs> okay, not exactly in pain what I was. and I am hurting because I'm losing someone that I love, that I care about, not that exactly I've been what I was with. Going for. So all my heartbreak has hurt, obviously, because it's considered All of my heartbreak has hurt. And I love people hard. That is just what I do. You love but people hard? But is the most passionate relationship I've ever been in. So I feel like that passionate relationship, like, when it hits an end... Caveman cave. Like, it, like, sets my body on fire. Can you like, hear wife you're rolling so her eyes in the next room? Like a, no, I hear shipping in the background. No, I don't, era, because she's not fucking it's there. Like for months. <laughs> like, it's, There's it's no shipping so in the background? I, know, I get it, but, like, we're doing currently, like, what makes sense to us. And I understand that from an outside perspective, it looks weird and confusing, because even to me, I'm like... Okay, this is like probably so weird and confusing. 1920s just so like, prehistoric like, kitchen. Truly, we're just trying to take it one day at a time while also trying to. 1920s reach that style, I should have said. You know when we're moving, and it's. 
It's coming up. It's coming around the bend. It's coming. It's terrifying, so actually. To, to be honest. All no, right, it's so not I'm working. I'm going to show you guys a little bit working. of the editing process. So here is a grocery haul. No, I don't want to see the fucking editing process. I really don't. I really don't. Um, the vlog that you guys saw yesterday. And I just want to show you, like, how it looks. Because a lot of people think that I just, like, throw a video in iMovie and then call it a day. And then that's the end of it. You're I making promise. jump cuts. No. I take out a lot. Just jump cuts. It's not that deal. The big of a deal. Of, like what vloggers do. It's ju no, um, it's just like jump a cuts. Vlogger, you it's know? just fucking jump cuts. Uh, using GoPros and stuff like that, but this is how it goes. Got a jar of salsa. I got some of these like think protein bars. They're 150 calories with 10 protein and salted caramel. They're so gonna give that a try. Uh, and then right here, I can already tell. Let me zoom this back a little bit. I'm going to edit out this part. What is this fucking bait to get me mad? Yeah. Yeah, you make cuts when there's nothing going on in the video. Already know I'm gonna edit out this. I need oh God. So it's a lot of this. Like <laughs> this takes me hours. I needed some more um, sponges. You're the one choosing to use half your fucking day doing a ten minute task. Could it could be could do this shit in 10 Which, minutes. I don't mind. Like, I do love editing. Like, I've tried to explain that before. Um, but every... I guess, I guess she just likes to have things to fill up her day. I guess that's what she's going for. I like having... I like having incredibly simple and quick tasks take me half the fucking day. So that I don't have to think for myself. Clip takes a long time. This is like all I can say is like you're a fucking idiot. Like this, you do this every day. Learn some fucking efficiency. Like if if she likes doing it, she likes it taking a long time. Then that's fine. But like, don't be like, whew, man, guys, this editing. Let me tell you, is taking a lot out of me. Like this is just yeah, fucking just stupid. This. this is the level of incompetence here. Is astounding. See, I'm gonna edit all this out. I can already tell. Her MacBook mm -hmm. crying in the background. So yeah. On dish soap, I got a bag. Here's a boring um, scene of editing. Fuji apples, which I will be putting in the fridge. You know what? If I was editing, if I was editing this video, I would uh, not include this whole fucking boring clip, in which you expose mm -hmm. how fucking stupid you are. <sighs> that out. So yeah, I do that with every clip, and I'm here for hours editing. But it's so therapeutic. I love it. Okay, okay. So there you go. There, you, it's just like the Legos for her. It's a completely unnecessary task, but she just likes to do it, and that's fine. And that's fine. Y'all, I have like three bags of stickers that I don't know what to do with. But don't, I don't know why she starts it with like, you guys don't realize like how much effort goes into the editing. Like, no, you're just doing that. You're just doing that. I might honestly just give them to Goodwill, but I did have a moment where I wanted to sell them online. Amberlynn is in the fucking Flintstones because they haven't invented the fucking wheel yet. Because, you know, <laughs> it obviously did cost me a pretty penny. <laughs> So if anyone's interested in these stickers, you can message me on Instagram. And if not, I will just give them to Goodwill. And if Amberlynn got a car, would just have the fucking hole in the bottom for her to just drag her feet along. Hello, hello, hello. So I know it takes hours for me to get where I need to, but it's just so therapeutic. Last night, I tried one of these Think Protein Bars. Only as someone who doesn't do editing as my job, how do you make this process faster? I'm curious. Oh, that's a great question. And I realize what most people... Most people don't actually have to edit videos ever. 
So, uh, you wouldn't understand, but being that she does it every day, I, that's why I'm holding her to a higher standard there. Um, so, in the shitty program that I use, uh, even though I, like, got all the Adobe shit set up, it's just sometimes easier for me to do the thing I already know. Um, it's like Control B on my keyboard cuts cuts the that like the the timeline there the video on the timeline and then you just like kind of drag along control b control b hit the delete button so like all the stuff is like just quick shit on the keyboard um and the program that i use specifically i have a thing where and it, ma it makes it easier if you're doing it on the computer because you can see the waveform of the, the like the the audio so you can see in that what parts are like basically completely silent by just skimming through real quick with your eyes and then you go over to the silent part and see if there's any anything that needs to be included visually and if not then you just snip those and whatever so 150 calories this is in salted caramel i got so efficient with uh editing the wedalber episodes that i i don't even actually watch the entire video back um both while i'm editing it and after it's done i do not even bother watching the video back because i just as i'm as i'm recording it i remember if there's anything that i need to like um like while i'm saying it, whatever i'll remember if there's a part i need to like clip out or fix or put something in on and then I'll just go to that spot in the thing. So Which is, good. comes down to kind of like directing your own recording process in a way. Like I'll like I'll like remember like, oh shit, I cursed in the first thirty seconds of this video. So, it so reminded me when of I go like, to when I go to edit this, let me go find that and mute that. This summer beach bar that I would eat when I lived in Virginia, like on my first era. Another another great thing people do is like if the I'll, I'll do this too if I like fuck something up, I'll just pause for a second. I'll just and then it stands out in the uh, in like the kind of in the waveform of the audio. Or some people will clap twice, which you can also use to um, sync audio and video if you record them separately. Actually. Um, and it also just kind of shows little spikes on the waveform, so you know where like you have to go back to. And the texture was exactly of this protein bar, and I put it in the freezer. So I decided, last night when I had one, to put it in the freezer so we could Actually, try it. years ago, like probably like four, four or five years ago or something, um, I did an Amber Lynn reaction video and towards the end of it, after the video was over, I like was sitting for a second to kind of like collect my thoughts, see what I was gonna, I was gonna like uh, end the video with as an outro, and I forgot to cut this that clip out, or like it just didn't work right. I guess I like, missed it or whatever. So there's like a two minute space at the end of the video where I'm just sitting there like. just like thinking and <laughs> people are like commenting like wow that's it's it's it really says something when he's just like is speechless for like like two minutes there he doesn't even know what to say I, was like, no. <laughs> I just didn't i just didn't think to clip that part out i just i i just have to stop and gather my thoughts constantly because i just don't think that fast there actually used to be a video up on YouTube of someone someone took that clip and used it as evidence that like I have some kind of specific type of seizures or something or some weird some weird brain issue like not in a mean way they were like it was like from like a, someone who was like <laughs> like I don't know like whatever like like knows that shit or something i was like no that's not i just i just was trying to think of how to wrap up the video and forgot to clip that part out 
I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to say it was, but um, no. You know what? You know what it is? It's the fucking ADHD. Uh, cause I just, I just can't think of what to say next sometimes. <laughs> so I have to stop and be like, uh, how should I put this together? The next day, okay. So I have high, high hopes, but we'll see. Oh, we're doing dentist. the dentist. Dentist, call nine one one. Nine one one, call the dentist. No, nope, <laughs> I was like, like why would the dentist? It's the same texture at all, or was it in the freezer for too long? <laughs> you guys, this is an example of the way I edit. This is how I've always done it. But people thought I just spliced together a bunch of random clips. But now, as you can see, that is not true. Okay, let's try this one more time. That is like not the same texture at all. Or was it in the freezer for too long? You guys, this is an example of the way I edit. This is how I've always done it. But people thought it's jump cuts. Is she fucking stupid? Don't she is. She is fucking stupid. It's the truly, truly the most absolute basic example example of what you could consider video editing is you you cut the clip at one part. And then you cut it at the part where you want to start, and then you remove the stuff in between. And they just put those two ends together. Like, when things used to be on film, and you had the strip of film, and you'd be like, I don't need this section. And you cut it, and then you cut the other part, and <laughs> you put them together. That's why it's a cut. That's why it's a cut. It's because he used to cut this film. <laughs> Making a music video? Oh no. Oh my god, that would be wonderful. I way I add it in the freezer for too long. You got this. Now, I got a question. I had it. Why, why, does, uh, why does the microwave say F God? <laughs> What's the deal with that? It says food, and there's like a another thing I've underneath it. Always done it, but people thought <laughs> I just spliced together a bunch of random clips, but. My God, if there's there's not a single fucking better thing you could have for a thumbnail than <laughs> this right here. Oh my God, just go ahead and cut out the background here. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, hold on. You guys, 
this is an example. Back to it. This is how I've always done it. But people thought I just spliced together a bunch of random clips. But now, as you- One of Zach's favorite C-bent moments is when I couldn't remember the words to Tom Sawyer and I was like, you know the Rush song that's like, bing bing bong instead of mean mean <laughs> Bing bing bong. <laughs> Took him eight years to figure out what the fuck I was talking about. Anyway, Rush is one of his favorite bands. He really liked your remix, even though he didn't get it. Oh, nice. 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 Yeah, yeah. I, th I thought for some reason um, that the the audience that watches Amberlin reactions wouldn't really know Rush. I was going to say, like, ask your dad about it or whatever, but... Now everyone, guess everyone's see. listened to their share of classic rock radio, you know? That is not true. That in between uh, Limelight and the uh, Spirit of the Radio. I think I'm losing my mind. Oh my god, this is going to take- Want to see all the clips of her walking back and forth in between those clips spliced together? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see that editing process, right? <laughs> yeah. You thought... <sighs> That it was easy. <laughs> but actually. <laughs> Too long to thought. This was a flop. Not me holding it my in my hand. My dad took my to like... Roger Waters without me once. Oh my god. Men. Men. Warm it up. Because we're not wasting this. We're going to let it thaw. But this definitely ain't like the summer beach one. I don't even think they make the summer beach one anymore. The texture of it, once it's been in the freezer, you know what it is? I think I might've had this in the freezer for too long because it's been in there for like 24 hours. And normally with the summer beach ones, it was just like an hour. So, whoops. Okay guys, I, I think it's time. What the fuck she's saying? I think it is. I mean, it's been like a good 20 minutes. All right. Did she, she put it in the freezer? Is that what she said? Put the protein bar in the freezer? I don't, I don't understand why she's so hooked on the fucking protein bars being the cure-all to start off her new journey. Every time. For years. For years. Oh, let me buy fucking a hundred protein out. bars. <laughs> That'll fix me. Plant. Don't put this in the freezer. Because now it tastes like freaking refrigerator. Like, what am I thinking over okay, here? Okay, so fucking clean your fridge? I don't know what my to tell you. Right now, why so is, my why is Why does your refrigerator flavor things? Throw some fucking baking soda in there, whatever it's supposed to be. Why is why does your refrigerator flavor things? I hear that, but I'm feeling hungry. So Hungry? Oh, what about those bars you got? You're, what about those bars? But either try the southwest style cauliflower bite oh here's a great video of one of the clock town giants first shows playing a rush song check out that I thought Joey was bald as hell. No, Chris is bald now, though. Okay, sorry. Can you guys even see me? What were we doing? Some of the sweet chili cauliflower wings. You guys like your songs slowed and reverb, the opposite cookies. of nightcore? Ooh, there's instructions for an air fryer. I've never seen that on a package before. That's probably because I just recently got an air fryer and I never paid attention to that before, so now I notice it 
everywhere. Like I noticed there's never any air fryer instructions on things, so. I think That's because you just turn the air fryer to as hot as it'll go and you put it in there until it's fucking done. You just put it in there till it's done. You just look at it and be like, oh, that needs a couple more minutes, and then you come get it in a couple minutes. Uh, cauliflower? Sweet chili. I think that is what I I'm say cauliflower. Do. This is what the package looks like. Oh, I'm excited. Uh, so what do I have to do? Here's my air fryer. <laughs> Listen, I love... I love a breaded and fried cauliflower. Absolutely delicious. I think we, I think we can stop calling them wings. For the reason being that you can get like you can get like the fucking Morning Star vegan chicken boneless wings things, you know? I love this. Like this was so expensive, y'all. Like we gotta stop pretending cauliflower's wings. Stop pretending cauliflower is steak. <laughs> stop. You know. Stop. Stop. Stop calling a bunch of veggies smashed together a burger. <laughs> How much was it? Like a hundred and. <laughs> Let me look it up so I don't get it wrong. So according. Oh my god! Last night we had the Beyond Steak. Finally found it somewhere. Uh, wow. Good stuff, uh, but it reminds me that I never really uh, liked steak anyway. Uh, because it's got like very varied texture. Like there's some extra chewy bits, you know, in spots and whatever. Uh, and I was like, oh wow, I always thought that was fucking gross with actual steak. When you're chewing something, you're like, this is, this is, am I supposed to be chewing this? It's like that, you know? Which is just the worst fucking thing about, uh, steak. Uh, and, uh, but it was, it was nice, nice taste to it and everything. But, yeah, I don't know, I'd rather just go with something else, probably. According to my Amazon. Lansing Brewing Company makes best cauliflower wings I've ever had. What they do... I don't know what they do, but their buffalo cauliflower is impeccable. Ooh, ah. Walmart has the best veggie luncheon meat. Not any of the ones by me. Slabby patties. None of those ones that have a decent grocery <laughs> section by me. When I got it, 130 which is definitely worth it. This thing is... There's too, I, I never liked I never liked steak ever because it's like there's too many parts where like am I am I supposed to leave this part? It doesn't seem edible. Like like I've had other. What is that? What is that thing? What is that doing? That's so gross. Is this supposed to be in there? Before, and none of them fucking sickos. This, I can tell you that. All right, so I'm just gonna add them. It says it'll take about 16 minutes. So I guess the sauce comes in a little pack like this. Oh, does it? Does it? All right. I'm just gonna pour them all in there. Why the heck not? 400. She 100% doesn't clean her air fryer. No, yeah, especially not after putting the fucking slabs of raw pork job in there. All right. The and sauce is literally started. so scary. What do I do scary? with the sauce packet though? Put what do in. you do with the fucking sauce packet? Warm water. Don't know what you did. Thaw <laughs> it. Thaw it and put it on top. It speaks to me. Earworms. But I never actually like sing them in the right melody because that's just how I am. I'm waiting for this water to turn warm. I'm just gonna put it in here and put the little she might have, guy. She might have actually just used melody correctly. And they're like so. I don't know what. I've I don't know. I don't know what she was and, singing, uh, but. I cried. What she said, I think. <laughs> I did. Because as was far as music vocab of, goes, I don't really want to say because it's kind of TMI. But sorry. And uh, I cried. <laughs> I did. Because I was getting rid of. I don't really want to say because it's kind of TMI. But it definitely brought up. Uh, double-sided dildos. Some memories for sure. I'm gonna be getting rid of a lot of stuff. Good times, right, good really times, warm. good times. So I'm gonna put it in the hot water. Well, not hot, but warm water. And just have it sit in this bowl. That's what you do. 
The Santa Bowl, Amberlynn. That's what. It's a mug. You do. Get your shit together. Guess I'll just set it right there. The shirt she was Alrighty. wearing during the potato so, <laughs> incident. Oh, yeah. The rug. <laughs> the rug that they rolled up and put in a closet after the potato incident. Good times. Good times. About done. I would say so myself. I did have to add um, more hot water into that cup for the sauce, but. Totally yes, you have fine. to thaw the sauce. So those these are, are lightly those breaded. Those are crispy. Which I did not know that until I read the package. Oh my god, you didn't know they were fucking breaded? <laughs> if they weren't breaded, you know what that would be? Fucking frozen cauliflower, dumbass. What do you think made it fucking wings, you fool? You thought it was just fucking pieces of cauliflower in a bag, you fucking idiot? I didn't notice it at the store, but that's fine. <laughs> the sauce is like chunky. I was just, she got the fucking cheesy cauliflower bites and she was like, yeah, this is my low carb day. Like, oh, okay. Like, sure, whatever, whatever. I don't, I don't care, none I of my business. I like that very much. Okay. Wait, what? So I'm a texture girl. It didn't say it has bread. Really? And I just do not. Is this carbs? Like how this looks. It just, it doesn't look like a normal sauce. It like looks like applesauce. Shut the fuck up. And I don't think I can do it. Shut I, the I can't. fuck up. I have weird... Shut up. No one cares. Eat it fucking plain then. Things with food. Put it in fucking ranch. Who cares? Who fucking cares? It's a packet of sauce. Food and That's why it's on the side. And I know a lot of people like to be haters and say because I'm fat, I can't be picky, but I really- I'm actually really scared of this sauce right now. It's so scary. I truly am. So, we're gonna try it with some ranch. <laughs> Perfect. Wow, what a simple fucking solution. Yeah, the sensory shit. Guys, this sauce is triggering me. Let's also try it with some sriracha. Oh, we can God. even get a little crazy. Try it with some mustard. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, man, this sauce it comes with looks horrible, but here's fucking four sauces. I don't know why, but here's some soy sauce, too. <laughs> Back to my mukbang era. Just kidding. Okay, so here are the cauliflowers. Let's just try a little... I can't do what is it? What is this southwestern style sweet and spicy sauce? What is that? No, I can't do that. Give me now. Let me get ranch mustard soy sauce. <laughs> Nibble without anything on here. Hot sauce. It smells like braided cauliflower. It's exactly what you'd expect. Okay, Big Lee. Thank you. Wait, what? <laughs> If you're a vegetarian, maybe even possibly vegan. Go I fuck think yourself. Vegan, Go run. fuck yourself. Run to the store. Fuck you. In replace fuck you. for chicken. In replace for chicken. Parmesan I'm going to get the fucking Morningstar nuggets that you get on every fucking grocery trip. That's what I'm going to get as a replacement fucking chicken. Don't give me the fucking cauliflower. God damn it. And like, oh my god, this slaps. Okay, and that's just like by itself. Let's try a little. That's a little too much. There. If you're Let's vegetarian or vegan, run. Okay, <laughs> all right. <laughs> what? That's bomb. Let's do some sriracha. Wait, did I just find my new favorite thing? Oh my god. Dab all that. You should get some veggie tempura. Imagine. Life changing. Your body light weight speaks to me. If you guys know that song by Chris Brown, yeah. Your body okay. light Time weight. Time for the good old mustard talk. I don't watch mustard TikTok anymore. I just like am obsessed with it still, regardless. Like I still eat that. So good. Wait, I think it I'm sounds in like love. she cooked the hell out of those things. What am I doing with soy sauce? Like, what am I doing? Salt. I guess when I thought of uh, Consume sriracha, salt. I also thought of soy sauce. Like, what? <laughs> what? Okay, I'm gonna get this on me all over. Don't. Come on. Oh, oh my god. Jen with the 100 bits, thanks so much. How you doing? Uh, the most staining sauce there ever was. Let's go and just fucking air pour it. 
Thank God it went in my bowl. Mm, no. If you're a vegetarian or vegan, you need to try cauliflower. Fucking it's cauliflower. Cauliflower I need to try. Oh, wow, I'm actually shocked. Fuck off with that. This is so good. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> I think this might be it. I don't think I can ever. I don't think I can ever Literally watch her just again. This is it. I'm just gonna chilling all up in there. I'm gonna go find oh God, a job so or something. You got some diet Pepsi. I don't know if I this prefer the mustard or the ranch. I can't decide. She's Try putting the, sauces the on cauliflower. Again. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know about y'all, but <laughs> is this the second I'm half of the video? Sauce on Although, cauliflower. Breaded is not good for you. By any means, it's so much better for you than like. Uh, I love McDonald's right now. Love it, but it's just not. I don't know. It would make me feel worse than. I should this. learn HVAC. Yeah. Yeah, I go through like hardcore food fixations. Like, this isn't even like. About me being fat, whatever. Like, yeah, I yeah, th yeah. You know, what I was just that's that's crazy because I was just thinking, you know, what I'd really love. I would love for Amberlynn to tell me her safe foods. That's what I was really hoping that we'd get today. I am a picky eater. That's something that Celine always says about me. This is some some shit I'm, that I really needed in my life. Like the pickiest eater she's ever known. <laughs> um, I get these like food fixations. Where fuck I try something. Off. Fuck off. And I like it so much that I just like eat it every single day. It happens to the best of us. Uh. And these might be something that I add to the mix here. <laughs> your mottos? Maybe. Oh my god. Mustard, can you just do your job, please? You had or one hyper job. fixations? Yeah, another addition, yeah. And it got all over my freaking arm. Whatever. I'm just gonna put it on my plate. Yeah, she's all over it. mustard talk. She's also just gonna find a neurodivergent like, talk. I cannot right? believe there's only one more day. It's like God. I wish that were me. Of fifteen days of uploading, <laughs> and then surely we take a twenty-day vacation after that, right? That's wild. These fifteen days went by so fast. She's gonna. It's gonna Crazy. be a nice vacation you know after what this. this. Tastes like? Dipped content. in freaking yeah. yeah. mustard. It tastes like a corn dog. So if it was a fucking corn dog, I would hope that it was made out of fucking cornmeal, cornbread, and then I would also hope it has a nice kind of smokiness to it on the inside. But sure, mustard on breaded thing. Sure. Wait, now I want some like turkey kielbasa with this. Oh my god. <laughs> the 15 days just has gone by so fast that it's just like man what like it was just day two like how is it 14 already oh my god wait so she's uploading one more video and then she's probably gonna like fucking take a couple days off or something if she doesn't get to the fucking P.O. box today I'm gonna be so mad all right, it's time again for one more Amberlynn video. Living in a world that dislikes fat people, clean with me, and sushi vlog. Living in a world that dislikes fat people. Oh my god, poor fucking Amberlynn. She wouldn't last a day as a goth vegan gamer. Am I right? God. Wouldn't last a day as a Digimon kid. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see what poor Amberlynn has to deal with now. No one is more oppressed than Amberlynn. Hello. Go to hi. The PO box. Welcome to a new vloggity vlog. So I'm having some allergies. Right some I'm allergies? Sure you can tell. To I, eggs and. I've been itching my eyes. Your cats. Like a mad woman. So. That. That'll only make it worse. I wonder when she is going to finally come to that conclusion that touching the itchy eyes is not the solution. Sorry. 
You guys are gonna be proud of me. I brushed my hair last night. You go. You go one step at a time. Pauline's <sighs> fighting in Ukraine. Amber won't be going to the P.O. box for a long Before time. I washed it, yes, God. I did. And then, as I always do, I put my hair back in its uh, bun. Right oh, as you always do for the first time in two weeks? Right after my shower. And maybe an hour later, I decided to check my Instagram and someone messaged me and said that you can get mold in your hair from doing that. No, no, no. I said you. I think you're thinking about me. You watched my video, and I said that's how you get mildew. <laughs> you must have been. No one fucking mess. Why does she? Why does she? Everything that happens in the world is a, an Instagram message she got. She exists on Instagram Messenger. That's her news. Her entertainment. No, 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 in, in, a, in, a, in a stream I did, I was like, ooh, that's how you get mildew in the hair, I hear. No. Not a lot. Not a lot. Ma'am, what? I've been doing that since I was a youngin. Just putting my hair up, okay. you know? Well, you're not going to, like, see it, per se. Might be like a little smelly or something. Right after I don't know. it's already wet. Like I don't know because that's not me. What? I've never had mold. <laughs> that's just what I hear. My hair is that real? I need to do some research, but I just thought that was like crazy. But to the person who said that to me, if it is true, thank you for letting me know. You will smell it though, and Destiny confirmed that. Oh my god! I will be doing my research. I will be uh trying to figure that out because if that's true, then I am a rare species because. Okay, so, so, Amberlynn, you remember when you said that you cannot physically empty the washing machine and you need to wait for Becky to do it? Have you ever, have you ever let that sit, like, half a day, half a day, maybe, and come back to it? Not always so fresh. I have never had mold in my hair or what? Oh my god. But today is day 15, folks. This is the last day for daily uploads. I currently do I still can't get that was five years ago, I'm pretty sure, because that was a recent thing in the Hey, I don't I I don't know why the sounds aren't working. I just messed with a bunch of stuff on my computer. Pajama be vegan. What a <laughs> what a time. What a time for this. We're watching this video where I complain. <laughs> Where I'm going to just complain about everything this vlogger does for the next 16 minutes of this video. And then I'm going to play Pikmin 4. Do not have a new schedule. I have no idea. Okay, so 15 days of uploading are, are done. And now I guess she's going to go on a nice vacation. I'm going to be back for the summer. And all of that. But. Good timing. Good timing. The. The, the ad revenue on YouTube, real piss poor on, uh, you know, late late July, early August, the whole, the vacation zone, you know? And I do know I will definitely- Everyone's going and doing things. Only post, like, a community post, because I think that's what I'm going to start doing from this point on, is whenever I have, like, a new schedule or whatever, I'm just going to post it on there, that's so definitely tempting. keep your eye out there. I'm looking in the viewfinder, and I'm just I'm like- at, I'm going to look at the community tab for wow. you to post a schedule. What are you, Should Zachary Michael? Hey. Oh, makeup? Should I wear my hair down? God, I am my own worst enemy, and I just don't even want to look at the camera. I'm okay. sorry, you guys. All sorry right. you have to stare at me like this because I don't think I'm gonna wear makeup today. Thank God the 15 and I'm definitely days not are gonna over. Wear my hair down. You know what? Maybe I might wear it down tomorrow. Oh. Editing Lynn here. I did in fact wear my hair down and straight, so. It's got Good nothing job. to do with me. So I was craving sushi. My friend wants me to take a picture for her and send well, Enough with the fucking friend! Enough! Anyone, what's the vibe? What's what's the uh, what's the tea on this friend? Are we thinking, uh, are we thinking replacement here? Is that what we're thinking with, with friend? Is that the vibe? 
Anyone got their social security number yet or something? <laughs> no, just kidding. I wouldn't want that. Um, yeah, it's gotta, it's gotta be, gotta be something potential new, new per- partner on the horizon here, right? And it so. I'm gonna do that even before I eat There's any. But the car. Apparently, it's her car. So. I wanted to show you what I got. So this is called the Crunchy Blue. Crunchy Blue? That's exactly how I want my sushi. It's literally just crab. <laughs> just crab. I get mine all. Why does the Why does the caption say literally just crab juice cream? All cooked. This one's called <laughs> my <laughs> Cloud Nine. Oh my god. I love the names for Zushi. As- what do we get on my birthday when we went out? Jamie got the fuck was it called? I don't even remember. What do you even have in it? I don't know. Crab. I can't even remember. I got I got a I got a Philadelphia roll. Vegan of course. And like a white fish. Last but not I'm least, sick. I saw a tail. I just got some like avocado, like this little guy. Really, just avocado, seaweed, and rice. I've never seen avocado sushi come that way, but all right, there you go. I guess I guess that's all the same ingredients. This looks so good. Oh yeah, and the one. Venn diagram of sushi roll names and marijuana strains is a circle. With the um. Mm. White fish also has jalapenos on top, which is gonna slap something fierce. It's gonna be so good. I told my friend, I will try not to forget- I hope she's mute one day. Yeah, to take that photo. So I'm about to- Is that a weird thing to wish upon someone? Is that wrong of me? I want like that, like the annoying dog in um, Fairly Odd Parents, where they have the voice box removed. Let's do it right now. Photo. Looks like shit. Photo is taken. Man, I could go for some sushi and now, though. My AC just shut off. Okay. What has this poor lady done? <sighs> um. Been shitty to animals. That's the best. That's the that's the, that's what really grinds my gears about her. The photo is sent. Oh my god! So did they give me soy sauce? She's a lie. She lies. Yes, they always do. The sushi place is so freaking good. I use my fingers. Don't come for me. Mm. I oh really? I would really enjoy seeing you try to work some fucking chopsticks. That would be my favorite thing. That Wait, was my happy what? Dance. Don't come for me for that, too. Was that? Why is the TV just fucking blasting right now? So, Jamie had... <laughs> Jamie had mob wives paused... You know, for like 12 hours... Um, or something, and I guess that is just the limit that Paramount Plus will allow, and it just started playing a fucking trailer for something. That was really, really weird timing. (laughs) No, not actually 12 hours. Probably eight, I don't know, eight hours. TV's been on for 12 hours? What if it has? And what if it has? I like to have some noise so that the pets the pets have something to entertain. <laughs> Big hand. My green velvet glasses. It's been paused. It's probably been paused for a good eight hours. I don't know. Everyone comes for me, I, kinda, I just kind of forgot it was there. No. I can't even be myself. Yeah, mm-hmm. fucking, yeah, fucking Drita's gonna be burned into the screen now. Yeah, I did take a nap. I got some bagels this morning. 
took Holly out a couple of times. Cooked half a slab of tofu and put it on toast with some barbecue sauce. And then ate the other slab, half of the slab of tofu raw. Cold. With a little bit of barbecue sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am a ginger girly. Oh, my God. Ginger oh, is so good. Oh, you're ginger? Mm. Okay, you guys. So I have I to do, clean my... I do consume as much of the pickled ginger as I possibly can with the sushi. Especially going between two different kinds. Boy, <laughs> coffee table I have to clean my coffee table <laughs> of the plate two knockoff Legos some aspirin <laughs> a brush a Roku remote whose fucking glasses whose glasses I knew this would happen when I got a coffee table that it would absolutely become a spot where I would just bowl. set Ew. Random stuff. So, let's clean it. All right, so first- Oh, you should see literally every surface in my house. Things first is this. This was actually from last night when I tried those cauliflower- You should see my desk right now. It's got DK bongos, my Quest 2 headset and the controllers, my Xbox controller, my Switch Pro controller, my SN30 Pro Plus, my 8-bit do, uh, empty container of gum, a measuring tape, some double-sided tape, stack of Pokemon cards, a Sonic comic book, a, a couple of pile of some things I got from the P.O. box, uh, a bandana, a Pokemon hat. Uh, some sunglasses, the Pikmin 4 case, uh, one shirt, a mask, uh, two dead batteries, a portable phone charger thing, a uh, cat toy, a uh, little, little, little green Buddha, a um, couple of wires, some paperwork, some sponsor stuff, a knife. A little cloth sack. Uh, no, empty gum container. Gum. Gum. Chewing gum. Is this the bottom of the sea song? Yeah. Yeah. I had some I could put it in the kitchen. Here's just some pens that I... This is fucking nobody's business but your own. How many minutes can we take you picking up things off of this table one at a time and saying where they go? I'm gonna put the rest with my pens. I'm not ready to get rid of this Lego, so I'm just gonna set it over. Just please, just fucking chuck it against the wall. That would be so satisfying. On my little bookshelf, the oh, remote. Just put that on the couch. Yeah, what, what is this? And then all of. What is this fucking, fucking Dollar Tree ass fucking nail clipper and tiny file? Dodo, Shuido. All of this stuff is just like miscellaneous stuff that I can just take off of here. I'm definitely, without a doubt, keeping this Lego. I love it, so I'm gonna use it for decor. She's got ga gadgets and gizmos aplenty. <laughs> Who's it? Or, but I'm just gonna set it you right gotta here. You guys gotta hear Jamie sing that Next song to Pluto sometime. and Feline's laptop, which is underneath. It's to clip her, it's to clip and file her finger warts off. You know what? I ordered some Compound W Freeze Off this morning on Amazon. It's coming tomorrow to get this skin tag off that's been annoying me. Still waiting to hear Jamie sing that. She promised. Did she? Did she promise? Pluto's leg. <laughs> Just cut it off. I was thinking of that. I was thinking of that, but it's gone too far at this point that it's going to bleed really bad if I do. And I'm just really not in the mood for that. And then here we just have I'm gonna freeze it my to tarot death. card. TMI. Oh, that's TMI. Oh, Su Susan's so perfect. Never had a skin tag or a wart. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's one question a day and like a little thing that you put your drinks on. I got one on my neck, Next too. I'll probably is this try to get that this is as what well. I used to, right um, here. Oh, someone's calling me. Hold on. 
Hello? So this is what I use to brush my fur babies every single day. I actually keep it um, on the coffee table. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this guy. This is one of the- Me when I lance off my skin tag, it was really the nice screwed up. Okay. Wanna be Legos I've done. This is just some Zoloft Feline's hair Good ties. So I'm gonna put that w in her bathroom. And then a little plant that I'm just gonna set aside. Now I'm gonna take this method glass and surface clean. Yeah, this is how this is how one would clean off a table, yes. Here, and I'm just gonna spray it. Nice fucking tutorial how to basic. Also gonna spray this guy here, which does come out. What's his and name? I'm just gonna let it Why is it sit? Got a little doodads on for it. For like a minute. Okay. Let it soak, okay. All right, interesting tactic. Now I'm scrub a dub a dub and finally this is gonna be clean again. Let it uh, saturate. Because I use it as a place just to store stuff. I need to stop. Yay, it's clean again. Oh my God, the nice centerpiece. And that is a little cat toy here that they play with. As if you can, how you can possibly freeze off your skin tag. Uh, it's all me, it's all me. With? Oh my God. This I was thinking about tying a little string around it to choke it out. This looks so good. I love my little Lego moment. I had to add that guy there next to my greenery. Hungry. So. I draw the line. I think. <laughs> parasitic thing that I grew myself. Time. I also Read my joke all out, please. I'm glad you're doing it after Jamie already said yes. Now you know that she loves you for you and not your skin tag. There you go. Have I'm more, more than I am more than my skin tag. I use some minced garlic wow why does she shake it warm it up a little bit the lighting right so <laughs> everyone's like this stupid fucking apartment and stupid lighting i hate it so much i can't be a vlogger like this <laughs> this apartment that is such bad lighting i'm actually loling <laughs> fucking becky fucking stupid becky made me get this apartment with her i really am another so, l for becky I'm not a Y'all, y'all coming for me. me. And I just now saw y'all coming for me. Who's coming Kinda for good. you? Good old pan. Um, I'm not a car girly. I don't oh, the fucking G wagon thing. No cars, nothing. And I just found out because of a DM. I'll push you. <laughs> Enough with the fucking I live and breathe by my Instagram DMs. I wake up in the morning and get all my good morning texts via Instagram DM. I get the current events of the day via Instagram DM. It's back a little bit. I hear None what's what in entertainment and pop culture via Instagram DM. A G-Wagon is not a Jeep. My whole life has been an absolute- I find out how many views my videos have via Instagram DM. Why? I'm so shocked right now. I literally thought it was. All right, I'm gonna Nobody add a little bit cares. Of oil. Nobody cares. It was a silly pan. mistake. I'm gonna cut this good old wrong knife. I'm gonna cut this good old uh, swing onion. Oh man, I wish I could see her cut the fucking onion. Okay, well, first of all, she's sawing with a chef's knife. So, despite her best efforts of not. <laughs> including the cutting process in frame. I can see this. Cause I like to cook the onion first for a smidge of a bit of a time. But y'all, I'm not a car girly. I know nothing about cars. I just know that G-Wagons are so cute and I would totally have one if I drove. It would be black okay. right. and I would look amazing in it. Okay, okay, so yeah. Let's see it. Let's see it. Make it happen. The only the only thing stopping you is you. Let's go. Let me know. Get in the G wagon and oh. start driving. Let's see I really it. I don't care though. <laughs> I don't care. I do love me a Jeep. Okay. I do love me a Jeep. I'm not gonna lie. I love Jeep. You look amazing strapped to the top of one. What do you I mean think by so that? So freaking cute. Depending, not every single one, but Jeeps are cute. 
I've oh, been a busy... You're not a fan of the uh, compass? Girly. There's boxes in the hallway. I don't know if you can see them. Makes me sick. I don't like it. I love moving, but not when I am moving away from the love of my life. Oh my god, it's been a fucking month. This is between you and your therapist at this point. God damn. God I don't damn. I really get into that right now. Or ever. <laughs> but. I like these onion pieces to be kind of bigger, so I'm gonna put them in the pan now. Ooh, hear that sizzle. Next is the good old turkey kielbasa. I have been obsessed with this meal. Cheap renegade's the worst. Oh, that little fucking thing. I like literally am fixating on it. Why am I like that? I don't know. <laughs> All right, so my food is complete. Mustard, cottage cheese, raw broccoli, and my little turkey See, kielbasa and onion. <laughs> See, Ben, I've gotten suspended from Twitter for saying something similar, but about a company. What, whatever the fuck is going on here is completely unnecessary. I'm just calling it now. I'm sure, I'm sure the dog food can come in a sealable container that it keeps it more fresh than whatever the fuck is going on here. I for if it was anyone else, I would be like, "Oh, cool. I'm sure they have this planned out all nicely." Yada yada, etc. This seems nice and 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 like uh you know, kept up with and all that. I'd be like, "Oh, sure. They they probably clean this out before putting the next batch in and whatnot." Not her. Is this is this is this for rarity? Is this for rarity, Gray? Is this? Oh, got some on the floor. Now. Paw. Paw. Is this a fresh bowl? I My wonder. Is this a fresh bowl? And onion. You want foodsy? I don't know. I, to be honest with you, I kind of see some shit in the bowl still. Turkey kielbasa and onion. You want foods? Can we at least get a little rinse with some hot water? See? A little rinse? Can we get a rinse? Maybe a wipe out at the very least, a little wipe. <laughs> in hands, in hands. Oh, got some on the floor. Paw. Paw. Good girl. Good girl. I do make Holly sit before uh, she oh. eats. Okay, so on my wax melt, the light. I think I only started that because I was like terrified at first when we got her of her being like food aggressive or something. Cause you know, that's like it's all something that like is really not oh, go on. that fixable Fine. or like really difficult. So, so I was like, you're going to be nice every time. <laughs> got some appliance bulbs. Wow. Wow. I found out via Instagram DM that I just have to get these appliance bulbs. Bulbs? I hope I got the right one. Let's test it out and see. I might be devastated if it's not. Also, I have to go back and see the the um the Twinkie throwing a big fiver. Four. She really reaches. Bam! Look at that. Look at that. She's like, put her, put her there. Put her there. Four. Look. Bam! Paw. Look at that. She's excited about that. Girl. Thanks so much, Come brother. Girl. Okay, so on my wax melt, the light, it's all gone. It doesn't work anymore. So I hope I got the right one. <laughs> Let's test dreams. it out and see. I might be <laughs> devastated if it's not the right one. Oh my she God. Yes, the universal so appliance small. bulb. Oh boy. It's the same there's a There's thing. a difference there. <laughs> Oh my there god. There is a difference, folks. How is it going to fucking melt your wax now? Oh god, everything's wrong. Look at me being a handy woman. She said, yes, exactly that way. I don't need Fuck. no man. Oh my god, you changed a fucking light Let's bulb. See. Yay! I just will it melt my wax now? It's slightly smaller. Yes, I did. I did that by myself. Yes, I did. That is true, Seaben. That's a big improvement. She would have just bought another wax melt from Walmart or something. I did that. I did that. 
By the way, I had leftovers, but I want to give you guys a little update on this cottage cheese. Cottage cheese update. Time. <laughs> Time for the daily cottage cheese update. You guys ready? Let's see what has changed since yesterday. Don't get it. Okay, all right. Uh, thanks so much for coming to the cottage cheese update of the day. <laughs> uh, this cottage cheese gets a zero out of ten. Thanks so much for coming by. Please don't get it. It's not good, I promise you. Stick to the daisy. I'm going to stick to her right here. Speaking of refrigerator, I'm thirsty. All right, so it's been a few days since we've done questions. Let me get the Discord link. Oh, right there. There you go. Thanks, Maya. I figured let's do okay, them. Maybe. All right, let's see what number we get. Hi, Ooh, purple. Number six. Okay. Do you think you'd be true? No, Amber rates stuff like minus two out of ten. Yeah, that's that's true. She never, she can never rate something within the confines of one to ten. She always has to be <laughs> below one or above ten. Treated better if you were smaller. Ugh. Okay, well, here we go. Let me hear that again. Okay. Do you think you'd be treated better if you were smaller? Ugh, yes, I do. I mean, there's discrimination. Like Jerry the Mouse? Discrimination in workplaces, in healthcare, social settings. Like, the list can go on and on. Bigger people do get treated worse. Sorry, I'm kind of a mess right now. Sure, I have been sure. doing some deep cleaning sure. because cleaning is so therapeutic. So I've been just like going at it. But yes, there is discrimination. It has been proven. Yeah, but you wouldn't last a day as a goth vegan gamer. In every sort of way that bigger people just don't get treated as well as smaller people. It goes into like pretty privilege, skinny privilege, da 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 So if I, okay, Amber all right, Reed, all right. was smaller, I know for a fact that I would be treated better, whether it be in public. Like inch high private eye? Public whether it be online, healthcare, doesn't matter. Um, I would have more opportunities. And that's a really... Upper fucking tunities. Now you lost me. She was cooking for a little bit there. Opportunities? Opportunities? <laughs> sad world to live in oh name name an opportunity a world that really strongly dislikes fat people i don't get it i'll never get it because it's like this isn't your body this isn't your life and to even to consider fat to be unattractive is just it ain't computing to me because if we start to think down on line here what's what's the missed opportunities by her logic getting fucked like i don't understand what the missed opportunities are because that's not true that's not even true what about all of like the models because so she said opportunities and then she hasn't said anything but people don't like you the know way I modeling look. for cigarette wife is the missed opportunity brands that unattractive i disagree no millions of people would choose the cigarette over the fat body. I really don't want to go down like a whole thing, but it really just comes down to like shallow, shallow, shallow people. And I'm so glad that I'm not that person. It does suck to be a person living in a fat body okay. because every single people disliking you has nothing to do with your size. Maybe two people don't like you because of your size. The rest of us hate you because you're a bad person. Single day that I am living. <laughs> I experience hate because of it. I didn't just come out of my mama's womb at this size. So I have been- Opportunate these nuts. Mm. Mm. Several different sizes. And even at 400- I can't believe you discriminated against Amberlynn in this way. 100 pounds, I got treated better than I do at above 500. I see it, I feel okay. it, I've experienced okay. it. So it just makes me wonder, like... By who? The fucking YouTube comments saying take your dog to the vets once in a while? How would I be treated as someone who was a normal weight? It would be mind-blowingly different. 
There have been like people. <laughs> it would still be so fucking annoying and a piece of shit. Actual people. It's got nothing to do well, with it. S stories that people share, whether it be in YouTube videos, documentaries, articles, whatever it may be. Even some people like reaching out to me personally who have lost hundreds of pounds and they're like, it makes me so sad how I'm treated now. Because forever they were used to being treated like crap. And then all of a sudden they lost all this weight and became more physically attractive. We're, in the, we're deep in the monologue zone now. So they began to get hit on more by people. They got better opportunities. What are the opportunities? What are the opportunities? What do you want? A job? Do you want a job? Miss more than 10K a month on YouTube? Friends and family. That's the crazy part start treating them better like that's just like it's so weird to me you, th if, then you have shit fucking friends and shit fucking family i don't know what to tell you i don't know what to tell you if that's the fucking qualifier for your friends and family to treat you nice yeah she, yeah what you need is some opportunities to weld to learn hvac <laughs> to get forklift certified <laughs> learn to code Thanks, L. <laughs> Zach started treating me better when I got fucking dummy. I just don't get it. I'll never hey. get it. I could probably rant about this for literally forever. And Plumber's thankfully, I can there use my go. voice because I'm actively someone who experiences this shit oh every single day. God. And it just sucks. Random fact. Wasabi likes to lay on paper. Oh, baby boy. Oh, my God. We got a journaling king over he here. He will be laying there. And... I don't know. I give it about 30 seconds. Yeah. Was mama right? Yeah. He has beds. He has blankets. But he says, nope. I'm not even going to go Classic on my cat tree. I'm just going to stand right and sit here on this nice piece of paper. <laughs> what are you doing? Y'all, I think I'm actually shocked. What is it now? And maybe a little triggered, and that's... Okay, I'll bite. What's wrong now? That's why I've been showing this so much. But, like, people didn't know that I actually edited my videos, which is so crazy to me. Um, so I want to show you, like, an example of, like... Oh, is this via Instagram DM? Like, a before I edit. Is this... This is exactly... Has she been watching my videos? This is exactly what I asked for. How do you not lose your mind reacting to this drivel? I... It... I... I... I am in pain every single day. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Look at all this weeble wobbling. We all... Everyone's gotta work. We all got it. We all got a job to do. Like, this is my daily grind. Why am I gonna... Eats away at my soul. Leave that. You guys! <laughs> this is... This is... I fucking already acted this out. And this is, I can already tell, is exactly what I did. Like, why am I going to leave that? You guys, <laughs> this is an example of the way I edit. <laughs> <laughs> you guys thought that I don't edit. <sighs> But actually, I did. <laughs> this is how I've always done it. Anyways, you get the point. But then this is how it looks. No, no, no. After Play the I whole thing. It. You guys, this is an example. Yeah, I saw this. Of the I way remember. I edit. This is how <laughs> I've always done it. But people thought I just. You you get the point. So when you guys see me like sitting down talking, like whatever clip it is, there's tons of editing, and that's why you always see those like random little cuts. Like while it's I'm It's too bad that I'm constantly deleting my own footage or else I could spend a whole day going through and um, finding the clips of me fucking up the intro song and um, just being like, God, I don't want to fucking do this. Into the. Oh my God, I don't want to fucking do this again. I mean, those are all little tiny. <laughs> clips i take out i take I out fucking me saying the word, hate this um, so much. if there's any pauses that are like longer than a second 
like I do a lot of editing and I love it so much so that's why when I come on here and I'm like you guys I love editing so much like I thoroughly mean that it takes up a I don't think you like editing I think you like just f having the little fucking task to do on your lot phone of time. I don't know it takes me way longer to edit than to film but I enjoy it that's so much completely and I'm just so grateful your own for you fault. guys for watching me so thank you all right grandma chic is here um I just got out of the shower I'm like from Zelda have some of these spicy dill pickle almonds <laughs> like breath of the wild and might have this as well it's just that think protein bar i put my hair down and Splice i was and doing the dishes and my hair got inside the dishes and it creeped me out so i went to go wash my hair so yeah hair like i washed it last the night dishes? so i feel weird about washing it two days oh, like in a row because in my water? head that makes me feel like it's gonna get super dry more drier than it is wait was, did she say dill pickle almond what what? You I guys missed. for watching me, so thank you. All right, Grandma Chic is here. Um, I just got out of the shower. Link, I'm going to have some of these you. spicy dill pickle almonds. Spicy Might dill have pickle this as well. almonds. It's just that Think Protein Bar. I put my the, hair down. The Think Protein Bar she's trying to force into her lifestyle. And I was doing the, the dishes, and my hair got inside the dishes, and it creeped me out. So I went to go wash my hair. So, yeah. Like, I washed it last night, so I feel weird about Sorry. washing it two days in a row because in my head that makes me feel... Oh, Amberlynn's back on TikTok. Trying to post thirst traps to like it's gonna get find super a new dry, mate. more drier than it is. I don't know, it's weird, but I just wanted to end this vlog. I'm actually super tired. Um, I'm gonna have the snack. Right, see you in a fucking month video. after your nice vacation. Probably take a melatonin. You know how it goes. A Pepsi diet. Me and my caffeine free diet. Pepsi. Free, like it's my literal a Delta sidekick eight, at this point. A melatonin. Like, anyways, I hope that you guys did enjoy this video, and I will see you. Just continue this two week wow, bender. Wait, this is the last day. Whoa, wait! Oh my god, I just realized today's day fifteen. In this moment, I was about to say, "Oh, I was gonna wake up tomorrow, vlog, and then I'll see you again tomorrow," but I won't. Oh, and by the way, yes. As soon as I sat down, Thought I, I was little, cracking. My little gonna, guy in oh, there. Man, I, I wish. did not shower with I this in here, but my friend sent me this really funny meme. It's this like thing that you can buy online where so you can listen to your AirPod while you're in the shower. You like put it over it. I thought that was the funniest thing, and I was like, "Yep, she knows me very well." You ever heard of a fucking speaker? <laughs> what are you in prison? Just listen to some music. But yeah, I don't know when I'll be back. Um, but just. Keep your eye posted on my community tab. I'll let you guys know. But until then, I hope you guys just keep smiling. That reminds me of when I first started YouTube. My friend, a team YouTube, I would always um, end my video with this quote. What was it? Something about, if you're not smiling, smile. Or something like that. Oh my God, so cringe. But anyways, see you guys later. If you're Bye. not smiling, Bye. smile. Intuitive eating is hard. Awareness around depression symptoms from, from Dr. Lynn. And getting rid of memories via lobotomy vlog. 1080 premium. Crank it. Put on the caption. Hello, hello. Welcome to a new vlog. Long time no see. <laughs> Marty missing ya. So hello, hello. Chinab I woke up back. so early. I, I want to try this, but I already had a rain today. It was at CVS yesterday. I was like, I'm gonna need a rain for tomorrow. It was the white gummy bear one. Trying to fix my sleeping schedule. I only slept for under oh, four oh, hours. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do this anymore. The sleeping schedule? We're back on fixing the sleep schedule? It's been ten years. Ten years you've been saying that? It has never gotten any better, so... Right, Holly? so that's crazy i did wake up to some rain it's not a storm so i'm not worried about no tornadoes but it's just a beautiful rainy day and i'm a pluviophile which means someone who finds peace Does and Lexington happiness when even it's raining that is literally me. hi nice to meet you my hair is now up <laughs> i swear i can't go a full day without wearing my hair down i don't know what's wrong with me but i just woke up from plenty, a nap plenty wrong with you a nap. I don't, even know a I, I don't understand the show. Like, guys, I barely slept at all. My sleeping schedule is horrible. Whew. Anyway, just took a nap. A nap. It was like a freaking. Just sleep. Three hour just escapade. sleep whenever I was so then. Tired. Okay, what just three hours. Four, four and a half. Was that Feline?
Does she have a, a tape recorder playing quotes from Feline to pretend that she's still in the house? Oh my god, that's amazing. She's 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 getting really good at her um at throwing her voice. Her v- v- ventriloquy is really a uh, wavy soundboard. Yeah, like for what? Don't play yourself. So waking up. What the fuck? Three hour escapade. I was so tired. Okay, it wasn't three hours. Four. That, th- three to four hours is not a fucking nap. You just continued to sleep. Four and a half. Like four. What? Don't play yourself. So wake. <laughs> what is? What is? Waking up. <laughs> I'm like, am I hungry? <laughs> See, I don't know. I'm trying to rewind do, the tape. Rewind the intuitive tape. Intuitive thing, and like, the normal <laughs> side of me would eat something right now. But what about the intuitive girly? Like, what the fuck is this? Like, I don't know. sound clips from previous vlogs. I don't know how to like find hunger cues? That editing practice really coming in handy. I don't know. Like, I know hunger ping, and I know that feeling and stuff. But like. AI in a moment like this, maker. I feel like maybe I'm just like head hungry, not like physical hunger. Oh yes, I hunger heads as well. But like, do normal people only eat when they feel physical hunger? So it's like normal I don't get people. it. Normal people, shit ain't adding up. Intuitive eating is hard sometimes. Shit ain't adding up. Someone's been watching their fair share of Zachary Michael. Like I'm not gonna lie, so. Feline versus do. Obama gaming And that's like, if video, I do eat, yeah. do I want to order out? Or do I want to, like, cook something Your here? power went out. You need to... It's just a lot of questions. Like, oh... You need to reset the... I think I think too hard about it. And my oh, hair, no, it says... I don't know what's going on, but she's kind of getting, like, healthier and thicker. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I did not order out, but I did have a couple uh, pineapple rings. I had two. And then okay. I also had some leftovers from last night, which was turkey, kielbasa, and onion. So I'm proud of myself for the choice that I, I made. Like and I a waited. Very interesting choice of showing empty plates and saying what you had. For about an hour because I ended up realizing that I actually oh, right, was hungry. Says F God so I feel like I made a really positive uh, choice. Okay, you guys. So. <laughs> Expired, are they? Because I ended up. Well, who knows when this video is from? So I'm, and then I also. But I did. And thicker. You're going to make me go back and yeah. look? Okay. okay. So I did. No. August 5th. Potentially, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I would have still eaten it, yeah. It's old footage. Well, see, now I'm hearing conflicting things. Is it is it old footage or is it exposed? Order out, but I did have a couple... Uh, it's definitely possible. She did take a couple days off. ...of so. an hour because I ended up realizing that I actually was hungry. So I feel like I made a really... Also, welcome on in, honey. Uh, ...choice. Okay, you guys. So... My hair's looking... A mess. I've been cleaning, packing, and stuff, but I did want to do a little P.O. box segment because it's been a minute. Save so here is my P.O. box. My contract ends oh August 31st. God. So if you guys want to send the me a letter or here. if you want to send me anything. She should have gotten the thing that I sent by now. If fucking Feline threw it out, they're all dead to me. They're all dead to me. That is the timeline. You can send it to me. So, What'd first things send? first, we'll I got see. a letter from Zach. We'll so see. I just want to say thank you so much for the kind from words. Zach? I appreciate your support so much. So next, what is I- what on earth in the fucking dimensions colliding is going on here? <laughs> letter from Zach. I got this box, <laughs> which um, I do open stuff what is, prior. Because what has happened to the timeline? There. there was no letter in here or anything, <laughs> but it's like this kit. What in the fucking multiverse is this? Where you can build... <laughs> so the, the I guess LR I'm building something. Universe. Like, there's just tons of, like, random stuff. I'm going to assume this is glue, maybe some paint, um, a bag of just, like, beads and stuff. Um, I know the Swedish had guy. something to do with like, this. Like, I'm telling you, it's just tons of stuff. Like, here's some more beads. And here's some, like, wood. It was... This is, like, Lego on steroids. It was steroids. the Swedes. Um, so there is, like, a little... Instru- oh! Yeah, see? 
Oh my god, I think I'm gonna be building that. That's crazy. Whoever sent me this. Sweden, this the country is so of Sweden. Awesome. So thank you so, so much. Um, I have no idea who sent it because there was no letter that I can see or Ikea anything like that. It. So next is this. Um, it's from Simply Beautiful Creations. So here Beautiful. we have a pen. So cute. I, I, I always say it every time there's a P.O. box opening. Send your PR kit to Amberlynn and she will give you far more advertising than you could get anywhere else. Your advertising dollars are best spent sending your product to Amberlynn. I'm totally going to be using this to journal because there's a black ink refill right there. And I only like to use black ink in my journal. It's just this weird thing. I don't know. So this is also from Jessica. I think the beautiful uh creations is her brand and she also sent me some stickers and i think she knows i like ariel so thank you so much jessica i appreciate it so much right. so next i have this envelope and what there's like a little sticker on? right here and it says twinkie i just thought that was so cute like, that's look not for close. you that's for twinkie look how adorable i love when you all think of my pets it puts a smile on my face yes it does so rebecca wrote me a very very long letter that i absolutely loved uh, thank becky? you becky fucking becky and then she also sent me this card a thank and I you card it was super cute um she what did said you do for her me and jack black are two of her heroes <laughs> i thought that was so cute i love me a jack black what did what did they mean by that oh you and jack black they're just they're just top of my list moment um but thank you so much rebecca your letter made me smile and thank you for <laughs> opening up to me as well so next thing is from briella she sent me a really long letter so thank you, you so and much bowser for doing that you i literally love when you guys send me letters longer the better and she also sent me some lip gloss what did they gloss mean by that Des. so i'm assuming this is her company that's super so if glue. you guys are interested don't use it her company it's name, super glue Des. amberlin don't so, do it thank you so much it's gorilla okay, glue so i'm about to go through all my hair scrunchies i used to have even more than this who gives a shit be shocked but yes i'm about to go through this right now who cares so let's do it together as best friends what does you mean go through it what does that mean I will be keeping. Rudy's trying to take my hair stuff. Rudy. Rudy, what are you doing? Okay. So Feline actually got me this scrunchie. You're not even a Gryffindor. We hate JK Rowling here. We hate JK Rowling. He called me a fake Gryffindor. <laughs> because I want to be Gryffindor, but every time I take a, like a test or whatever, it says that I'm Hufflepuff. A test. So. A Do fucking fair, test. As a battle of Hogwarts, Hufflepuff is the only one who stayed beside her. Besides her. All right, so I'm going to go through all right, them. And shut then up, I'll show nerd. you which ones I have decided to keep <laughs> and which ones I'm going to get rid of. All right, so these are the ones I decided to keep. <laughs> I will be. Not oh, many, all of them? I will say. But I prefer, like, the fluffier ones, I think. <laughs> that um, voice I just sounded some... edited in. Battle of Hogwarts, Hufflepuffs were the only one who stayed beside her. Besides her. All right, so I'm going to go. Ugh. Hold on. Rattles, what are you doing? Okay. So Feline actually got me this scrunchie. You're not even a Gryffindor. You are a fake Gryffindor. She calls me a fake Gryffindor. <laughs> the cut the cut there made it sound very <laughs> Because I want to be Gryffindor, in, but every time I take a, like a test or whatever, it says that I'm Hufflepuff, so To be fair, at the Battle of Hogwarts, Hufflepuffs were the only one who stayed the sign group. All right, so I'm going to go through all them, and then I'll show you which ones I have decided to keep and which ones I'm going to get rid of. All right, so these are the ones I decided to keep. Okay, anyway. Um, I don't know. I also really like Amber doesn't even light browns and browns, and I don't know. We'll see. But these fighting? are all the ones I'm going to get rid of. Um, I'm going to give to Goodwill. Yes, I'm going to get rid of this one. Fucking Goodwill? It's just too many memories. Is that and Feline is understands. Is that allowed? So, is that allowed? Right. Okay. Now I am making some. We're not broccoli spam. fans. With we don't like broccoli, broccoli here. What's and over here I have some rice. 
Just a just a light flavoring of broccoli. And the little rice cooker going. Hey, funny peach. All right, so here is my completed with the peanuts food here. Also put a little bit of peanuts on top because with the peanuts. That's how I like it. Oh, and you got a little everything but the bagel for that bad boy. Okay, you guys. So I'm gonna be going through some of my cups and my glasses, just seeing what I want to keep. What I want to get rid of. Who because cares? I am doing Who honestly cares? Like I'm packing little by little every day. So it's just what's helping me. I'm definitely going to keep some of these cute ones. They're we'll like little coffee cups. Keeping. But they're clear. And I just think that's super cute. So I'm going to keep two of those. I'm not going to keep these. Don't yeah. like them. You want to keep this Charlie's cup? This plastic cup? Okay. Okay, and now that sounded like these. she's in the room. This is from the Hunt a Killer game that That sounded like she's in the room. Take that, haters. Jinchipin just subscribed. Jinchipin. I don't know how much longer I can stay in the Amberverse, but Willow makes it tolerable. Playful face. Playful face. Thanks, Jen, for subscribing two months. Appreciate it. Let me see sandwiches in the chat. Uh, no, you're right. You're right. I every, every day, every day I I. I find myself closer to the brink um play but i'm gonna get rid of it so this is, this a is cute my tumbler curse this is my that curse someone got me because they said this looks like twinkie does not look so like fucking twinkie i'm gonna keep it so i do have <laughs> quite a few of these type of glasses which honestly hi Dustachino, how are you doing hi you're up you're up. He's up. Watch out. Watch out. Here he comes. Psst, 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 psst. Dust. Dust to Chino. Woo! Woo! Good stretch. Can we get a Shamu? Can we get a Shamu? Can we get a Shamu, Dust to Chino? Can we get a Shamu? Can we get a. You're looking for your brother? Can we get a shampoo? Oh, 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 he tried, he tried, he's bashful, he's bashful, he knows he's on camera. He knows he's on camera, he's bashful. <laughs> B -b -b. All right, all right, okay. Let's get back, let's get back to it. <laughs> yeah, I don't really use. So I'm gonna get rid of those as well. So I have another glass like this. Where is it? Oh, how I've gotten my stuff. We were in tiny white socks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I don't want to bother. Got little Feline. mittens. Got ankle <laughs> socks. Use this thing. Oh <laughs> my on. god. This is gonna cause a catastrophe. See, this is what happens when you're short. Step step stool. Not put shit on the top shelf. Plenty of options. Oh. Jesus oh. Christ. Thank you. So these came with this little she can, um, she probably wooden thing. Step stool, but but this wooden thing kind of gives me like germaphobe. So what I'm going to do is oh, Feline okay. is going to keep the one okay. with the wooden guy. Bet you'd the use a cutting I don't know how. Though. So I'm going to keep this one. All right, As for Chino, these wine right. glasses, Where's I'm not really at? a drinker. I haven't drank since I'm April. Not a drinker. 2022 just on the delta eight binges y'all do catch me drinking milk out of these things but milk? truth be told i don't really uh need them so i'm gonna get rid of them Will we have not two of these keep, we're gonna just smash them in the back of the car on the way to goodwill this, which i do plan on keeping because Will sometimes i use them it's very keeping? rare but there is a moment in time that i do so these are literally all the ones i'm keeping and all the ones i'm getting rid of that's okay. crazy. That's a lot. It's almost like you're moving and don't Hello. want all the things that you so bought. So I'm actually about to take a shower, but like hey, Mama Bobby. I was sitting here. Well, not sitting here, standing here, brushing my hair. And okay. I think I just got sad. <laughs> it I just hit sad you? Because there's not Listen to a podcast or something. I don't know what to tell you. It could happen to anybody. Not a lot of like... S standing there in the bathroom looking in the mirror awareness at night like listen to a podcast and like how put on some music is one of the very first things 
Learn that HVAC, yeah. People with like severe depression stop doing. Um, people okay. get mass Thank you, Dr. Lynn. in their hair, like really big knots that are like just really bad sometimes i have to be cut out like i've okay. been there i have been there before okay yeah and then how about how about your cat's fur how's that coming and i just along? recently told you guys that i didn't brush my hair for like over two weeks and yeah. i just got a lot of hate <laughs> like just a lot of unfair cruel things were said and it just truly made me realize that like <laughs> guys stop telling me to brush my hair it's actually really offensive it's just not enough awareness i'm not going to do it and it's my mental health kindness <laughs> in the world when it comes to like please stop telling me to brush my hair while i'm having a mental issue mental health you know that when amberlyn is not brushing her hair <laughs> that means she's not doing good at all and i just want to let everyone know that okay from filming this, like in this moment, I brushed my hair four nights in a row. And that's a lot for me <laughs> because I am going through a lot, but I'm there trying really go. hard to like there we get go. myself out of it. And it's taken a lot of strength. Big whoop, what do you because, want like, to cook? <laughs> <No. dirty. laughs> I, like, I get it, I get it. I get I see what she's getting and at. Every day I'm just trying to give myself more self love and just improving in that way but Self -love. like for there to be so many jokes and just like cruel things being said oh. about people with depression like not brushing their hair it's just mean take that stop telling amberlyn to brush her hair when it's been two weeks she'll get to it when she's ready okay god <laughs> stop it stop it everybody we got Holly over here, sleeping in the big bed. Dustin sleeping in the new tiny bed. No one back here. No sign of Tucker. I wonder where Tucker is. Psst, 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 psst. And we got one more to watch. Yay! No, Amber, everyone hates you. Other people with depression receive our understanding and sympathy. <laughs> Uh, where I've been, cook with me, and got a new scale. Now, see, in the struggles being me from five years ago, that, that, that three-part series, one of the struggles being Amberlynn was how much it costs to get a scale. Hundreds of dollars for the scale that she uses. But as I said... As I said in the recent reaction from going back to those videos, how many scales does one need to buy in their lifetime? Once you get this $300 scale, wouldn't you think you're set for a while? What happened to that one? What's wrong with that one? We need a third opinion? What's going on? You don't trust it? It's a kind of a kind of a, a once per lifetime purchase, unless you get one that's like much fancier, does like your like BMI calculations and whatnot. <sighs> I have ADHD and anxiety, so my feet are always moving when I sit, and it's strange for me to see Willow's foot so still. Oh yeah, you do you do the shaky leg, you do the old. You do the old shaky leg. Yeah, that sound that sounds like it sounds like you got some anxiety. Good morning. Good freaking morning. You ever just be, you ever been you ever been sitting down with someone at like you know coffee place or out to lunch or something? The fucking tables just wobbling. Oh, you're one of those. All right. <laughs> so I look grandma chic. <laughs> what was that? Oh my god! This is what happens when you get less than three hours of sleep. I literally just felt like. <laughs> Fucking go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. I showered, took a tiny little nap, and then it's rise and shine. So I have an in-person appointment today. Oh, because we got to do something today. To see a different psychologist that specializes in something else. 
It was actually my therapist oh. who um, referred me because like my therapist doesn't specialize in what I have to go see the psychologist for. Is it a secret? Um, so today's the first appointment. Um, yeah, and I'm about to like do my makeup and get ready for the day. Um, I'll see you guys when I'm done getting ready. And I also want to show you, I've got a new scale. Um, this is like the scale I had back like Rob's years. Trauma? And, oh, that would be good, right? That would be good. That would make sense. I mean, trauma's not good, but it'd be good to see someone about it. Seven years ago. So she's the one that talks, but it's the one that only goes up to like 550 pounds because my scale like officially broke the one that I've had for a while. So that's fun. Remove film before you. When you so say just, officially broke, what does that mean? Because I would kind of want to get another opinion before I'm like, ugh, this $350 thing I bought's no good anymore. Got to throw it out. Decided not to straighten my hair, so it doesn't look straight. I think I'm just, like, too tired to care. <laughs> Gotta be honest. But I leave for my appointment in, like, less than 20 minutes. Gonna leave my camera here. I've been okay. so over using my camera, I'm not gonna lie. It's so much easier using my phone. Have she's overusing it? Or she's overusing it? <laughs> I think she's over it. She is over using her camera. But the quality She on is my phone no longer is wishing to use the not camera. Good. So I actually feel like I need to like upgrade my phone because I have the iPhone twelve. And I think we're on like the 14th or 15th. Or oh, are you having like a problem with it? Is there any of the features that you think that would you would need that require the uh, upgrade, or are you just one of those and more responsible things? I don't think I need to upgrade my phone. Oh, okay. So okay. I want to say like four minutes before I arrived at my appointment, it was rescheduled. I literally don't know how this keeps happening to me, but that's okay. So right now. Twice in a row, huh? Really? Really really twice in a row you show up to an appointment and they say no? Twice in a row they wait until you are there and they're like, oh, no, 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 we can't do this today. Now I'm making some of that uh, lightly braided cauliflower. But I guess we're just moving past I'm that. I'm making like I a garlic moving on <laughs> spaghetti on. sauce. So I could uh, do like a wannabe Parmesan. I don't know what I'm doing actually because I don't even have Parmesan. I'm using Unluckiest mozzarella. girl in the world. It's just but I have them the struggles here. of being Amberlynn. This is the sauce I'm using. Classico roasted garlic. So this did come with a uh, barbecue sauce, but I don't want it. And people were questioning, is it actually lightly breaded? Yes, it says lightly breaded. Right there. Everyone I'm knew but you. I'm not doing that good though. Gotta be honest. Um, I've just realized I need to check out. I need to completely check out when it comes to like this heartbreak. Like I'm just right. kind of over Man, it's, it. It's a shame that that appointment got got canceled that stinks I don't know. anyways so this sauce is pretty much done and the cauliflower we're having tomato sauce bites and cheese oh, whatever you want to call them oh uh, oh is that what you guys are talking about she's having some cauliflower parm much done so we have some mozzarella some parmigini i think what makes the R.I.P. to redacted. Lightly breaded seems super breaded. Is the air fryer? This air fryer is crazy good. I'm trying to find the Parmesan. I don't, what is the fucking FDA standard for describing something as lightly breaded? I'm sure it doesn't exist. But I don't guys, see it's, it guys, it's okay. It's only lightly breaded. Can't you read? Alright, so. Okay. This is done. Oh, 
Why does it sound like right, fucking so nickels? Some of the bigger pieces in there. <laughs> oh, there's a the spoon smaller. in there. Oh my god. I was like, damn, like a rock? <laughs> dropping some change in a bucket. <laughs> Whoo. Mohammed. You know what? Once. Maybe maybe <laughs> maybe I will sometime. Yeah, that's what that's your first some... message. That's your first message in here. Mess. I am a messy cooker. That's just how I am. Now I'm gonna take. Let me tell you the story of the my people. <laughs> Let me sing you the song. Let me sing you the song of my people. <laughs> this would be so good with some parmesan, but I don't have any. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little, a little taste test um, in my brain. It sounded good, so I hope it tastes good. Sounds like the cheese is coins going into my cup when I'm begging for money at Wawa to support my <laughs> nasal spray problem. So true. So true. It's kind of melting a little bit. It's Love that. Mm -hmm. That is exactly what I thought it was going to taste like. It reminds me of like Parmesan chicken or something. 10 out of 10, recommend. No kidding. No kidding. Jesus Christ, what happened? When the fucking cauliflower parmigini hits, what on earth? <laughs> I guess that wasn't so good after all. What happened? What happened to it? Was there a jump cut or just, <laughs> did did the did the cauliflower just take over? When the Delta 8 melatonin and lightly breaded cala parmigini hit. Woo! Hi guys, so it's been a few days since you last <laughs> saw me vlog. Just days? Are you sure? Are you sure it's only been days? For you guys it's not gonna seem like that, but for me it, it, that's how it is. <laughs> I'm gonna go do my makeup and do my hair. I'll see you guys in Ooh. a second. Okay, hello, hello. Especially because she's sitting in the same fucking place. <laughs> Log. For you guys, it's not gonna seem like that, but for me, it, it, that's how it is. I'm gonna go do my makeup and do my hair. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, hello, hello. I am back. Done with my makeup, done with my hair. And I, you guys remember when I chose this journal? No. I am pretty much done with it. I have been writing. Wow, you finished one so journal. So much. Um, a hundred more. This is breakup era. Breakup era is all up in here. So it's a lot. It's only about Never a month's to be seen worth of by writing. Anyone. So I have to go choose another journal. So, I'm going to do it in the same way I did it. No spare journals in this house. You are officially out of journals. I don't believe it. Last time in process of elimination, I just have a weird quirky brain. What can I say? So, let's go choose it. A no. weird quirky brain? Do we have a diagnosis for that? Or is that just is that just how you feel? Oh, honestly, as I was going through these journals... No, 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 no. I don't have a, I don't have a problem. It's just my weird, quirky brain. I don't think you understand my vibes, doctor. I don't think you're getting. I don't think you understand that I'm just a silly and quirky girl. Actually, I realized this last time as Spicy well, brain, but this time yeah. I like really realized it. There's a couple that I don't think that I She's actually like. Up for it, <laughs> that I cannot envision myself oh actually oh no okay here's the stockpile that she has to go through writing in so i might be getting rid of a couple journals folks um, i feel like i'm getting rid of so much stuff right now Tory it's just Turtle. like well come on in. I, i'm getting rid of more than 60 percent of my life i feel All like right, so this is the guy that won i don't know it's not really like my style which is kind of shocking that i would even own this journal but I, I just wanted something a little okay. bit different. Um, I do like the more like girly ones. But something about this one just like called out to me. It like looks like a book. First you like, dream. An actual like reading book. Like then you do. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So when do I'm we get do to the do? Sticks and 
Let me explain. Oh good, the popsicle sticks. These are the sticks. ones that I've already done. But I recently had you guys ask me more questions. So I still have a ton of like the weight loss ones. But I wanted things that weren't just weight loss related. So we, we have uh, more questions to do, okay? So I'm going to put these guys in here. Did and if I write pull down the one questions? that I've already done on the weight loss side, I'm going to go to the side that isn't about weight loss stuff. Because I don't want it to just be about weight no loss. No one's asking for Before this. I do this, though, like there is an elephant in the room. <laughs> no pun intended. You're telling me there's an elephant in this room? For a week. Yes, I have. Um, I wasn't expecting it to Let happen, to be honest. It started off with a technical issue. And then I don't know what happened, but go on a technical issue i would love to hear about it that's one of my favorite things a technical issue i kind of just like didn't feel like filming didn't feel like uploading i am um, you know i never thought i'd hear that sound effect for depression one more time didn't feel like uploading Oopsie, depression. Oopsie. <laughs> wah, wah. Depression. <laughs> Is depression the technical issue? It's got to be, right? I am, you know, actively <laughs> going through a breakup. Wah, wah. So it is a little hard, but I've been gone for a week. And I think Flynn and I are slowly figuring the out like, our new emoji. dynamic. Yeah with each that other fun and thing. i honestly feel better i mean it's obviously hard. what'd she say i think flynn and i are slowly flynn. figuring out like our new dynamic with each other and i honestly feel better what's I mean, it's the new hard. dynamic i can't I... what's happening what is happening why <laughs> Oops, denial. <laughs> Oops, all denial. Feel better? I mean, it's obviously hard. But, like, I feel like every okay. single day I'm all right. feeling better. So, that's an improvement all within itself. So, anyways, let's get into these. That was quite a so long. So, we got a number 42. 42. Here. Number 42. What is your fear about losing weight? I think just like looking deformed, <laughs> um, I laugh because it makes me nervous. Like as you guys know, I have lipedema, I have lymphedema, and these things aren't gonna go away with weight loss. Um, uh -huh. So my body is always gonna be deformed, and that's hard for me to like wrap my head around. So it puts a lot of a lot of fear in me okay. for sure. Is that right. why you canceled the Next. you canceled the uh, therapy? Forty eight. Is weight loss surgery completely off the table? For now, yes it is. Another one? 47. Why? We're like all up in the 40s why right now. Why though? Why, why, did she, why did she have to cancel that whole thing that was seemed to be going so well for her? How old were you when you went to Disneyland? I actually went to Disneyland when I was... What a stupid question. Was 16 and when I was 17. We have number okay. 19. What are you filling out your, your fucking Amberlynn biography? How have you improved your stamina? So right now, my stamina isn't like at its best, but the fact that I can even film standing up is a good thing. Like back in 2019, that, no, no, no. I was sitting down to cut zucchini, you guys know that. But honestly, if you're someone my size and you mm, have really bad stamina, just that. like getting up and walking around your apartment more, standing for no reason, like little oh, tiny things. Good advice, good advice, thank do you. Do add up. That's literally the best advice I could give because it's like as bad as I was like in 2019. It was just like the little things that I would start doing. Don't like commenting away, but isn't she near enough the same way she was in 2019 right now? Her highest was 570 something. And what is she at? 540 ish right now? For those and it would improve keeping my stamina a tally. more, so I was able to do more. All right, let's do one more question. Number 35. Would you ever go vegan again? I can see you're mouthing 
no. <laughs> Who's the motherfucker that asked this? This stupid question. This silly willy question. No, I would not. But would I go vegetarian? That's a whole different subject. I feel like going vegetarian wouldn't be that hard. <laughs> you don't even you don't get to say the word vegan anymore, Amberlyn. You've lost all privilege. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I eat meat. I'm not the biggest fan of meat. Meat kind of creeps me out. But going. <laughs> almost, almost. Vegan is like super hard. So no, I would not do that. Oh, okay. So I am back. Oh, so you're just going to suffer? You're saying you just you would rather just suffer through eating things that are gross? Okay. All right. Interesting. To vlogging, and I will be back to YouTube. I'm not going to have a current schedule. Though. But where will I get the protein? No, I'm not. I don't even remember what this vlog consists of, so hopefully it's long enough to even be a vlog. I hope that you guys did enjoy it, though, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, it's so hard. It's so hard for her in her travels to find non-meat-based things when she, you know she's out on the road and stuff. <laughs> she has such difficulty fi finding the non-meat options when she's in foreign countries and outside of her comfort zone. All right, well, that we're all caught up on that. It's been two days, so maybe we're due for another upload soon. Who knows? Let's keep on the weed, I'm Buddha Brown.